Hello everybody, welcome to Watch Mojo. I am Phoebe, this is Nick, and today we're breaking down the Game of Thrones trailer for season eight, episode five. Which looks like it's gonna be the Battle of King's Landing. Let's get right into it. Okay, so this I think is a really interesting shot. I think that a lot of people have kind of theorized that maybe Tyrion is a Targaryen. And while I don't think that's necessarily true, I think that this is kind of a symbolic shot of him walking towards the dragon. I also think it's possible that Daenerys looks very contemplative. She's standing out on the the, port, the Dragonstone porch <laughs> there, looking over the sea. I think she's either contemplating um, something that's gone wrong or something that she's about to do. Tyrion walking into the dragon, it's almost like he's walking into the dragon's mouth. Yeah, I hope Daenerys doesn't pull a Tommen. Mm -hmm. That's all I have that to say about that. That would be a quick that. end to the series. Let's keep going. All right, so this is a really important shot. So we have Cersei looking very confident as she surveys King's Landing. Meanwhile, the Northern Army led by Jon looks in a pretty rough shape. Yeah, it's looking pretty small and Jon is not looking very hopeful. We have that contrast between Cersei's smug, confident look mm -hmm. and Jon looking like, I don't think that this is gonna turn out the way that we think it will. Let's keep going. All right, so there's a bit of contention about this shot. Where is this? Is this King's Landing? Is this uh, White Harbor? I find it hard to tell, and also, whose fleet is that? Yeah, I, would, I mean, I would presume that it's Euron's fleet, although it could also be Yara's fleet. Yara um, is definitely due for an appearance. Yeah. Another question about Euron, we have to wonder, um, how loyal is he in this episode? Because in the last episode, we saw Tyrion mentioning Cersei's child in front of Euron. Now, the only way that Tyrion could have known that Cersei is Pregas is if she had been pregnant for a while now, meaning that it, it wouldn't be Euron's baby. Yeah, so you just kind of see Euron like Was Euron paying doing attention? the math, trying doing, to figure yeah. out what's going on here. So I think that's definitely an interesting mm -hmm. point. Let's keep going. All right, so this is really, really, let's just go back a bit here. So we see Daenerys sitting on her throne and she's talking to two people, which are presumably Tyrion and Varys. Now we know that in the last episode, Tyrion and Varys had a very difficult conversation wherein Varys kind of, you know, put everything on the table mm -hmm. and said, maybe Daenerys is not right for the throne and maybe we need to eradicate her. Yeah, and in this trailer, we see a lot of shots of Tyrion juxtaposed with Daenerys and it looks like um, Varys' words are really sinking in and he's, he's kind of on the edge here. Yeah, I think he's finally coming to the realization that maybe Varys is right. Maybe he's um, backing the wrong horse. Yeah, so let's, let's see, let's keep going. All right, so we have the Golden Company looking in full form. Very spiffy. Juxtaposed with Grey Worm, who just lost the love of his mm -hmm. life. That was like a really difficult thing to watch, you know? So he's definitely not in great shape, and I don't think that the Unsullied are in great shape. We saw in the last episode when Daenerys arrives in King's Landing to kind of see if she can make a deal with Cersei, there was not many of them. Although at least he does have a, a reason to fight. He has motivation now. This is revenge, whereas the Golden Company, they're just fighting for coin. Yeah. So maybe, maybe that will give the Unsullied an edge. Yeah, let's keep going. Oh. So I mean, this is the big cliffhanger um, shot of the trailer here. Um, Euron looks up at the sky, obviously expecting Drogon, the scorpions are ready, and he looks surprised by what he sees coming at him. Which seems highly unlikely that he would be surprised by seeing Drogon. No. It seems that they're anticipating the dragon, right? There have been theories that maybe there's a fourth dragon that we're gonna see. Um, you know, in the title sequence, we have this band where we see four dragons, there's three smaller dragons and one big dragon. Some fans have theorized that there's gonna be a fourth dragon entering the scene. Um, I think probably the big dragon is actually just um, representative of Daenerys on that particular illustration. Um, what do you think? I don't know. I, I, I don't think that there's enough time for them to sort of, you know, raise a dragon. It would be awfully convenient. Yeah, it would, it would be awfully mm -hmm. convenient. However, I think personally that we've been talking about Krakens in the last episode. Could it be 
Cthulhu. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be event. incredible. Yeah. So I guess uh, that's yet to be seen. Is it Drogon in armor? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess if they have a Starbucks now, according to the <laughs> coffee cup we saw in the previous episode, maybe they have <laughs> fighter jets. They could have anything. Any Futuristic technology. Yeah, it's, it's all possible. Yeah. So this uh, this trailer really doesn't give us all that much. No. It's uh, it's very quiet, especially since the next episode is supposed to be you know the battle for King's mm -hmm. Landing. Here we're not seeing much battle. We're seeing preparation for battle, so I'm really excited to see what happens in the next episode. So what do you guys think is going to happen in the next episode? Let us know in the comments below and uh, keep an eye out for us next week with another Game of Thrones trailer breakdown. Bye! Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.